we are going to work on stay. All right, foodie friends. So by request from Kate, we are going to work on stay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be updated for all of our new content. So stay for me means if I ask my dog to say down, I'm going to reward him for staying and just being good. So if I ask my dog to say down stay, that means he's going to stay in the down position until I tell him a release word and my words, okay. So if I say Dexter stay, if he's in the down. So Dexter down, stay, then he should stay in that position until I tell him okay. If I were to ask him Dexter sit, stay, then he should stay in the sit, stay, until I tell him okay. So position is everything for me. So as you may or may not know, Dexter's 12 and he has mobility issues. So we're gonna actually work on the down stay for him because it's easier for him. So that's something to always remember for your dog as well is they can only do what they physically can do. The next thing is as always, we wanna have a good texture for them. So down stay on a slick floor, not a problem. Sit stay on a slick floor, a little more challenging because they're gonna be taking lots more muscle control to stay there and not slide. So that's not their fault if they're sliding. So, you know, think about where you're at. So if I have a slick floor and I want my dog to stay, I'm gonna tell him down stay. If I want my dog to stay for any length of time, I'm gonna tell him to down stay because it's silly to ask him to sit stay. That's just not fair. Let's go ahead and ask him for down stay. So the first thing is time. So stay, I want to start with that time, one second, two second, three second, not moving away and not adding distractions. So everything is going to be added later and everything is going to be taught individually and put in together. So my first step is let's get a reliable down stay with time under our belt. With new dogs, and I'm just rewarding him for being good. So again, we always wanna reward good behavior. He's being good, he's not talking, he's hanging out here. He, he is doing a little snorting though, can you hear that? <laughs> um, so one second at a time. So remember, your dog doesn't, imp so Dexter's old, and so I'm gonna give you a little um, tip on how I teach it, but I'm gonna let Dexter slide and not do that, so you'll see that in a second. So one second at a time. So. They're in that down. I don't say my stay until I have five seconds because I don't want to add a cue and my dog's getting up and moving around, wiggling around. I want to add my cue, my words, when my dog actually does the behavior I like well. So don't worry about attaching words. We can just worry about reinforcing what's, what we like. So are you ready? I know, yep, 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 yep. But there are some things you need to know. So one second. So one second, treat. Choo -choo, maybe a smaller treat. One second, treat. I like to do five. One second, treat. One second treat so that I can go, all right, there's my five. Was he successful? Yes, he was. Success means did he not do something else? Did he not get up? Did he not talk? Did he not paw? If he's doing any of those behaviors in between his rewards, then it's too long. So I need to cut my time because I need to reinforce him before those other behaviors happen. So if you're doing, say, a five-second sit-stay and you're trying and you're like at four seconds, your dog goes, eh, or poof, or something like that, you wanna cut your time shorter. Because you don't wanna tell him no for doing that. He's only doing that because he's not getting the reward and he's confused at what it is that you want him to do. So you make it easier. So you go to that three second mark so that you can reward. Is it in your lippies? He's doing a lot of training today. There's gonna to be no lunch. He's getting his lunch. Choo, choo, choo. Is it in your lippies? Did you get it? Did you get it in the lippies? So after your five reps and they were successful, one second treat, one second treat five times, then I wanna add that word release. So I wanna have that release word. So Dexter's is okay. So after that five seconds, I would say, okay, and encourage my dog to get up. And that's important because they're learning what okay means. There needs to be that release. When I ask my dog to get up and he gets released, there's no reward for the release. What's that, what is it that we're training? We're training our dog to stay, to not move. So when should they get the reward? <laughs> For staying and not moving, not talking. So when they get up, that's the boring thing. So one second, five times, and then okay, and then get them up, 
and then back to the down. Good job. And after that, now we're going to do two seconds. So if one second was successful, now we're going to increase our time to two seconds. So one second, two second reward. You don't have to talk out loud, obviously. One second, two second reward. You don't have to say reward. You're just rewarding after every two seconds. Five reps. And then after the fifth rep, okay, or your release. And then you might then encourage them to get up. And then again, you're going to repeat. So again, the only reason I'm not doing it for Dexter is two reasons. One, he knows it, but two, it's hard for him to get up right now. So we have to make it easy for him. We have to kind of modify. So the next thing is after, because I'm right up there, after two seconds, if that was successful, I'm going to go to three seconds. I'm literally only tacking on one second at a time. And your training sessions, short and sweet. The rewards I'm giving them, as you know, is calories but they want to be nutritional calories so food that they need low calorie treats although i hate using just treats i like this to be some kind of nutrition so this is actually dehydrated dog food so that i can count this as his lunch so one second two second three second reward one second two the second three second reward and again i'm going to reward after every three seconds whoops freebie and then okay and get up after that five seconds if your dog gets up before your count before your three seconds you're not going to yell at them you're not going to tell them wrong remember they're learning they don't know what what you want yet <laughs> you're just going to ask them to do it again and if they get up or they make that snort during that time that tells me out of those five reps oops we didn't get one oops we didn't get two so i need to make it easier i need my dog to be able to get Hey, don't talk. Don't talk. I need my dog to be able to get five reps without getting up. So I need to make it easier. So I need to go to, say, three seconds or two seconds, wherever that safe and good zone was again. So build up to five seconds. After your five-second mark, when your dog can do five seconds, then I tell them what the heck they're doing. So then I go down, because let's say they're standing up. Down, stay. One second, two second, three second, four second, five second. He thought he was ahead. See, he gets confused because he's like, wait, what's going on? We're, we're training. Why aren't you paying attention to me? So one second, two second, three second, four second, five second. I forgot my word, right? Is it in your ears? So stay. One second, two second. Count slow, two, three, four, five. Reward. Stay. Hand gesture. You don't have to use a hand gesture. I try not to. I'm just very visual when I'm trying to be on the camera. So one second, two second, three second, four second, five second. Stay. I will repeat my stay between my reps, but I'm not going stay, 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 stay. So I'll go stay between my rep. One, two, three, four, five. Treat. And then after that fifth one, release. Okay? So the first step that I work on with stay is building this time. So why don't we go ahead and, and give her a shot. Um, five seconds, they usually can do a sit-stay. So I do typically start with a sit-stay for most dogs, as long as it's not too slick. Um, you want to make sure you get that delivery right to their underneath their chin so they're not lifting up for it. Um, and again, success. So you're looking for that success. If they can't do five seconds, they're doing three seconds. And I build one second at a time, five reps, release and just worry about time. So if stay is new for you and your dog, the only thing I have my students work on that first week of training class is, is time. If they can master five seconds, then they go to six seconds. Once they master five seconds, I don't always tack on one second. Sometimes I'll tack on two seconds. So instead of six seconds, I might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Retreat, treat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Treat. Short and sweet lessons. The thing with stay is you're rewarding Often, every second, every your, your time second. So they're getting a lot of food. So again, we want to calculate calories. When Dexter was a puppy and everything was new, I would put his food in a bowl um, for the day and divvy it out. You know, what's he getting? If he's getting, if he's raw fed, I can't really use raw food food unless I put it on a spoon so you can do that or you can put in a little squeeze and reinforce with a little squeeze or you can take some of that food out and then use something like a dehydrated whatever you know especially if you're DIY in it you can say okay I can use my organs as a dehydrated treat or I can pull off some of this food calories and buy a prepared dehydrated dog food um, or freeze dry I don't know why I always say Store-bought is usually freeze-dried. Home is usually dehydrated. So give it a shot. Post your videos. Um, with phones, we have all those cute little phone things that can 
um, stands, tripods that can hold your phone. So you can hold your phone, shoot it on your dog as you're training because one, you can upload to us, we can all see and make comments and help. But also you can go back in your training and go, oh wow, shoot, I see what I did wrong. You know, I was treating here or he moved too quick and I reinforced him or whatever. It's always a good way to go back. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to both of our YouTube channels for more free content. Thank you.